Mm. I never knew he felt that way. But today, the world gets to see it. He exposed himself. So many people hit your DM, the first thing you could think of was Chambers. I think that basketball court hurt his heart. He got that bag, and it, and it took me nothing but the hands God gave me to put them courts down. I didn't get that lucky break like other niggas get. I'm one of them hustlers that got to hustle. Talk about fake chains. This nigga was running around the hood with a fake grand hustle chain for like five years. Wow. And a Batman chain before that. <laughs> a super <laughs> Batman chain. He faked it till he made it. He, he, but he, he, he faked his way through. He bluffed. That nigga got that old school bluffing Brooklyn shit. He's a bluffing ass nigga. Until you punch him dead in the face. Nigga bluff you with that tough shit till you punch him dead in the face. And that's what killed me about certain niggas, man. Niggas like him be buying niggas. You, you can't buy me. Nigga running around spending $100,000 on niggas that's getting $100,000 in a show. At one point in time, Jim Jones was getting $100,000 a show doing bowling. I don't know if you're getting that now. Yo, my thing is this. Why come at me, nigga? Out of everybody that's that, that, um, that, um, but y'all think that Batman chain is, is, is um, Catherine, he could keep playing games with me. And just like he could post shit, I could post shit too, bro. Like, I woke up to this. I woke up to niggas telling me, yo, five mics and talking shit about you. Why? Because you could, because Hassan Campbell called him out. Talk about fake chains and this, like that, my nigga. You, he had fake chains forever into that bad chain. Forever. Let me tell you something, man. The way he's spending that money. I done seen niggas crash before. What goes up comes down. He done failed as a basketball player, sober. He sucks as a rapper. So now the next thing he's trying to do is we get a podcast. Good luck. Good luck. It benefits him to come at me because I'm the top nigga in this shit. It don't benefit me to go at him. I'm not getting nowhere. Nobody knows who the nigga is. Everybody like, yo, who the fuck is this five mic nigga? And I could tell he paid for the numbers that he got on Instagram because if you look at the post that he put up and you look at the likes, it does not match. You don't have almost uh, 150,000 people on your Instagram and you only got 100 people liking your post. That doesn't even add up. Like, come on, man. Everything about the niggas a fraud. Trust me, just like he got people wrapped up, my people's is wrapped up too, son. And I like I'm saying, does it really need to go there? Because you really did spiritually didn't do the right thing in the hood. It Listen, can. My whole thing is like this, right? Why would it go anywhere with you? He said, I can't come outside. I came outside, dropped the address, went live on YouTube, put his name in the title. Like dogs, what more do you want? What more do you want? And even still, my whole thing is like, yo, he want to sit up there and play. Wait till I get with, I, yo, I'm going to troll T.I. For the, for the next 30 days. For the next 30 days, I'm going to play those news clipping with all those different girls coming out of the woodwork. What happened? How much money did T.I. spend to make those cases go away? Fuck is he the new Michael Jackson? Africa Bear Bada? R. Kelly? The nigga even got niggas talking about he raped them. I ain't gonna focus on that bird ass nigga. I'm gonna go right back to T.I. T.I. think he gonna sit back in the cut. Like, man, listen, I see why that nigga's son is bugged out. Your son is a junkie on the internet because your father, the father's a goddamn junkie. Yo, Drug listen, listen, listen. yo, come on, chill, uh, chill, uh. yo, yo, listen, I know one thing. You know how to rattle feathers with, 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 with your opinions. And, and then some things are obvious. You know what I'm saying? Um, of course, I ain't going to say I agree with niggas disrespecting niggas' kids and shit like that. I, I ain't on that. That nigga ain't a kid no more. He, he, he's, a, he's a jailbird. He's a gangbanger. The nigga's a jailbird. He's going to jail. He's 18 years old and he's going to jail. He ain't a kid no more. The nigga's a gangster. So I treat that little ugly nigga like a gangster. He want to be a gangster. He threatening adults. When I was 18 years old, I got locked up. 
And September 3rd was my birthday. September 5th, September 6th, I was on the run. September 5th, I was on the run for shooting Max. September 6th, I was on the run for my homicide. Then they started piling shit up. So when you, I was 18 then. That little nigga's 18 years old. They got pictures of him in what? In jail uniforms at 18. I don't want to hear nothing about he a kid. He's T.I.'s bastard. He wants to be tough. I'm not treating a little gangbanger. That little nigga, if he had the opportunity, he'll shoot you. We don't play with little niggas like that. Now he a kid? Nah, he ain't no kid. He a gangster. The little nigga's a gangster. I'm not going to act like he a baby. We ain't talking about no five or six-year-old. We talking about a little nigga that's running around acting like he toting guns. He's sitting up there. I watched the video with the nigga father talking to him. Nigga zooted out of his brain. It got a cup. The fuck is this shorty cup? That ain't Kool-Aid. So I'm supposed to treat this junkie like a kid? No, absolutely not. You sign up to be a grown man, I'm going to knock your little ass out like a grown man. Plain and simple. Yo, I ain't going to lie to you. That You know, sometimes kids take time to grow up. Maybe it's going to take him his mid-20s. You know, everybody go through that phase, bro. But my thing was with the classic five, you know what I mean? Um, and how he attacking niggas, not even knowing the truth or willing to go at people. And then it's like, yo, damn, what if I really try to hurt this dude? You know what I'm saying? Because I think he's trying to hurt me. Because that's what I, that's just what I believe right now. You know what I'm saying? And then some people were like, if people was real in these comments, they'll try, you know, get two men to stand on the phone and say something positive. But people love when people go back to jail. They love to put free such and such on it. Niggas, nigga never took care of his kids his whole life, nigga. There's people that don't even take care of their kids and they glorify jail. I'm not one of those who glorify jail. You know what I mean? I know what it is to wake up five in the morning on a count. It's not cool. Not for no nigga with a, who, who ain't got shit going on and God blessed him and he still hasn't changed. You ain't gonna trick me out my freedom, but I ain't gonna